As you know, domain server is a critical to the operations of the managing all organizations, users, and the computer from the central server. This essential service can be abused if there is no valid security controls implemented. In this part, we are going to hack the Windows Active Directory domain controller server. So let's move to the practical scenario. Open the terminal and ping to the domain server that you want to hack. In our case, it is 10.10.10.182 and we are getting the response that means it is reachable. Clear the screen and let's start the process. First, let's find out the open ports with associated service those are running on the server using the nmap. To do that, type the nmap space sc space sv and specify the domain server's IP address here and hit enter to start the scanning. sc used for the default NAC script and sv used to determine the version of the service running on the specific port. It may take some time to complete the scanning. Scanning has been completed and we have the results of the open ports and list of the service with the version. Domain name is the cascade.local that running with the Microsoft Windows Active Directory service on 389 TCP port. Open other terminal window and type ldap search minus h and specify the host IP address of the domain and minus p to specify the ldap port minus x space minus b and specify the domain name here and greater than sign and specify the location of the text document where output will be stored and hit enter. All output will be stored in the cascade.txt document saved on the desktop. Process has been completed and now open that txt file. As you can see here, we have found all the details. Now find out the sensitive information we have captured. Search for the legacy password and it is here. This is the encrypted password of the R Thompson name user account. Now copy the password and go back to the terminal. Let's decoding the base64 encoding password. Base64 algorithm converts the binary data into the table of the 64 characters. Type the echo space minus n and paste the encoded password here. And then pipe symbol and type base64 and minus d to decode and hit enter. As you can see here, we have the decoded password. Copy the password that we can use to access the domain server's shared folder. Open the terminal and type smb client minus u to specify the username. In our case, username is r.thompson. Mention in the double inverter comma then minus L and specify four times backslash and enter the IP address of the domain server and end with double backslash and hit enter. And it will ask for the password of the R Thompson user account. Copy the decoded password and paste it here and hit enter. And as you can see here, we are able to access and the view of the content of the domain server's share folder. So using this trick, you can exploit the vulnerable domain server and get the unauthorized access.